Who doesn't love Christos, right? But today's guest? Well, she's a bit different. Beautiful, sure, but definitely trouble. Meet lithium dendrites. Let's dive in and see what they're all about. Lithium dendrites are side effect of the electrochemical reactions inside lithium-ion batteries. You might have heard people blame them for batteries catching fire. But is that really true? And how do these dendrites even form? Here's the deal. When a lithium-ion battery charges, lithium ions move from the positive side to the negative side through the electrolyte, kind of like a balancing act. But things can get tricky. For example, when it's cold, in the low temperatures, the ions slow down. And the whole battery reaction slow down too. The ions do not make it to the negative side quickly enough. They get stuck on the surface and start forming these tree-like crystals. And there you have it, lithium dendrites. It's not just the cold that can cause this. Fast charging can do it too. When the current is too strong, the ions don't get a chance to settle. It's like pouring water into a cup too quickly. If you go too fast, it splashes everywhere instead of filling the cup. Now before you panic, dendrites aren't quite as scary as they sound. Most of the time, they don't actually peer through the battery's separator. Here's why. The separator is a thin layer with nano-sized holes that let lithium ions pass through. It sits between the positive and negative sides. And there's a descent gap, usually tens of micrometers. Dendrites, on the other hand, are typically only a few micrometers thick. So they need a lot of time to grow before they even reach the separator. But can we fix this problem for good? CATL took on the challenges and came up with some clever solutions. Focusing on both the battery's internal structure and its management system. First, they improved the electrolyte by tweaking the solvents and additives to help lithium ions move faster and more safely. They also upgraded the negative electrode material. Switching from a flat 2D graphite structure to a 3D design. This new structure provides more landing spots for the ions and creates better flow paths. Next, they enhanced the battery management system to monitor each battery's voltage and charge levels, preventing overcharging entirely. Next to these upgrades, CATL has significantly reduced the risk of lithium buildup, even after 8 to 10 years of use. So you can relax. Your battery is in good hands. And that's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join CATL in building a better, more sustainable future.